Did you hear that, Doggy? That's the corporation right now waking me up at half twelve in the day, getting me out of the fucking bed. I'm absolutely furious here in the bed. I'm boiling over. Absolute disgrace. Will you let the people sleep? I have a right mind now, actually, to, to send a message to a certain politician. You all know who he is. He's walking around the town like Bert, Bert Reynolds there with a big tash. And he's done nothing for the town now. And stuff like that. You'll be trying to get a bit of sleep now, mate. Like, will you carry on? Are you carry on? And up all last night playing Call of Duty, isn't it? And then to be called out of bed to deal with this kind of Jody. Ah, oh, here. That Bert Reynolds fella lies on him, and, and I think he works for the Labour Party. I don't see him out there labouring. I don't see him doing anything for the normal people, lads. I sent him a few mo- notes there on Facebook Messenger and stuff like that. I sent him a few notes about, about like, reopening the town pool. And, and and getting it open, there was a lovely, sp- like, sprite of a lovely weather there a couple of weeks ago. Like, it, it, it was fucking time enough to get people togged out and get them down swimming and learn how to swim. Dude, would you believe there's a certain t- statistic that 40% of the people in the town can't even do breaststroke anymore? Saying that, they don't be stroking breaths when you go down into shenanigans, but... <laughs> But this is a joke, lads. Waking people up at half twelve. And I'm out. Half twelve, lads. They better not be at the Wi Fi lines. If they're at the Wi Fi lines, I ain't gonna. Oh no, I'm gonna lose the head here. That's an absolute joke, lads. The corporation are just. I think sometimes they're just bored. And they're just ripping things up at this stage. Oh, Jesus. That Bart Reynolds fella, I'm telling you lads. Him going round the town taking fucking pictures with the local citizens rather than actually acting on, on proper problems and, and like I said, reopen the town pool as quick as possible. I th- I went down there one of the days and there was a couple of nice little benches with people's names on them and very, very well put together. But I looked into the I looked into the place where the pool was and it was it was absolutely a quarry. A, a, fill, a filled up quarry of, of, of people's dreams and aspirations. That town pool served a lot of services, lads. A lot of services. Not only was it a lovely place to go down and swim and release your emotions and, and be the man and, and the woman you're supposed to be, but it was also, for a lot of us, a good place to get a nice wash at times. It was. You could wash your sins away down at the town pole, and that's what's missing out of the town.